Hello, welcome to Huawei. Today I'm going to demonstrate the core capabilities of Huawei Cloud by using the most popular IEC2 telephone. Before I start the demo, let me show you the image preparation for this demonstration. In Huawei Cloud, we do not only support IC tools, but also support the image tools like Packer. Huawei Cloud team built up our own Packer plugin. By using this plugin, the user is able to install packages like Pictree and Ansible. And in my script, I'm going to use a provisional called Ansible Local to run Ansible script locally to create new user install packages, copy demo file, and enable service. These are the demonstration files I'm going to put in my image file. Next, let's see the results. You can see that all the tasks are executed successfully, and the whole task takes about seven minutes. All right, let's proceed to the main topic of today, Terraform. Before I go to the main topic, I'd like to run my script first, and then let's go to the detail of the scripts. Okay, you can see that my Terraform script consists of a few files, backend file, data file, main file, output file, variable files, and of course, the TFR files, which store the access key and the secret key. It's quite standard. And in the variable files, we can see that same as Packer, our Terraform also have Huawei Cloud provider. And I'm using the latest version, which is 1.32.1. Next, let's see the detail of the main Terraform script. The right hand side shows you the architecture diagram of this demonstration. My script is going to provision a VPC, and in this VPC, there will be three subnets. Public facing, web service, and management. And there will be two components in the public facing subnet. One is called SNET, which means the source net gateway. This component is going to handle the outgoing traffic of this VPC. For the incoming traffic, I'm going to use a level 7 LB to take care of it. And this LB will only listen to the port 8080 and forward all the traffic to port 80 by using wrong roping. And in the web service subnet, I'm going to put an auto scaling group. And this auto scaling group consists of four instances. And each of the instances, I'm going to put its private IP in the end of the index HTML file by using user data. Later, we can verify this portion. And for the security group, I'm going to open the port 80 to the public facing subnet, port 22 to the management subnet. It is because I'm going to create a jump host in the management subnet just for the troubleshooting purpose. All right, let's see the results of my Terraform script. We can see that we have 20 resources added to our account. And there are two outputs. One is for jump host. The other one is for LB. Let's copy the LB IP to verify our configuration.
I need to go to port 8080. All right, let's zoom in a bit. You can see that the script I put by Packer script, hello world, welcome to Huawei Cloud. Already there, and in the end of the script, there are one private ID. And if I refresh the page, the private IP will be changed. It is because the incoming traffic will be redirect to different ECS instance by the ELB. All right, that is the end of my presentation. Thanks for your watching.